Welcome to the new video lecture on Logic System Design CS203 Module 5. Now I discuss about the arithmetic algorithms. This is the part 2 of arithmetic algorithms. In this video I am going to explain about the flowchart of addition and subtraction of two signed binary numbers. This is the flowchart that explains the addition and subtraction of two signed uh, magnitude numbers. Basically, flowchart can be divided into two, subtraction section and addition section. And we have two variables A and B represents two uh, binary numbers. And AS represents the signed bit of A and BS represents the signed bit of B. Remember in last class, we have already discussed about a table and from that we learned that the addition and subtraction is actually depend on the sign of two numbers, right? So in this case, to find whether the subtraction will be performed or addition will be performed, we have to check the signed bit from A and B. For that, we perform the XOR operations. Here look, AX or BS for subtraction and uh, for addition, we have also AS XOR BS. In XOR table, when the inputs are different, the output will be 1. And uh, when the inputs are same, the output will be 0. So we can easily identify whether uh, the signed bits are same or different using the ZOR. When performing the SOAR with AS and BS, we will get either 0 or 1 like this. 0 if the signs are same and 1 the signs are different. Let's look at the addition operation first. When the signs of the two numbers are same, then we can perform the addition itself. Otherwise, we have to perform the subtraction operation. We have already discussed about the table in the previous session. In that table, the first condition and the fourth condition, we have a same sign bits. That is a plus A plus plus B and in the fourth state minus A plus minus B. So in these two states, uh, we have a uh, same signs. So we can follow this. So when the AS is equal to BS, we get AS or BS is equal to 0. Then we can perform the addition operation using A and B. This is sum of the A and B is stored in EA and the carry overflow stored in AVF. So in the next case, uh, when the AS or BS is equal to 1, so the signed bits are different uh, as in the table, the conditions 2 and 3. So we have to perform the subtraction operation. The strategy of subtraction is uh, quite different from addition. When the signed bits are equal, in the subtraction, we have to perform the subtraction itself. When the signed bits are different, uh, we will perform the addition operation like this. So in subtraction operation, uh, we use the two's complement number system. So first of all, we have to find the two's complement of B. For that, we perform B complement plus 1. So the two's complement of B add to A and then it is stored to EA. Now the value of E determines which number is greater. If the value uh, of E is equal to 1, then A is greater than B. Otherwise, uh, it is smaller than B. And consider the case when A is greater than B. Check A is equal to 0 or not. If it is 0, we can say that A minus B is equal to 0. That is A is equal to B. So the signed bit is set to 0. That is positive as per the last column of the table. If it is 1, store the result in A and AS. In the next condition, E is equal to 0. If uh, A is less than B, we need to perform more steps. 
Here we need to find the two's complement of A because we have to perform B minus A operation. Okay, and then save the result like this. So this is all about the flowchart of uh, subtraction and addition. Hope you all understand about the uh, algorithm of addition and subtraction of uh, two magnitude uh, numbers. And uh, in the next session, we will discuss about the addition and subtraction of floating point numbers. Thank you.